Guys, it takes a special kind of stupid to drop a brand new bike within the first 10 kilometers. Oh. Fuck me. What's up my biker friends and welcome back to another video. This video has gone entirely different than how it planned. I was initially just going to talk about all the things I was going to change on my brand new 2020 KTM 1290 Super Adventure R that I just picked up from the dealership. And yeah, the day went quite a bit different than I had initially thought, but watch for yourself. Well guys, check it out. It's my new motorcycle. The 1290 Super Adventure R. I'm still at the KTM dealer, so it's gonna be the maiden ride on this bike. Alrighty guys, so I'm leaving uh, the KTM dealership in Oranienburg, it's north of Berlin, that's where I bought the bike. It's not very far from home and yeah the bike has <laughs> seven kilometers on the clock it's brand new and i haven't made any adjustments to the suspension or any of that so there's still a lot i have to do with the bike um, i'm going to talk you through some of the things that i tend to change on this motorcycle now of course one of the first things i'm going to do is add the navigation the phone mount's going to go back on i might change the crash bars to the ones that I already were using, same with the tank panel. I sort of like the design, but as you know, I kind of like black and dark design. So I may be using my old tank panels on this new bike. Uh, they already have the scratches in them and I maybe save these if I ever decide to uh, maybe sell the bike and then, you know, have a basically brand new set of tank panels. And um, I will put in the SW Motec fog lights they will have to go in there also these mirrors will go into the box i will use my uh, tour tech the, the flip up mirrors that will go straight on here also i will have something to mount my gopro camera again so that's going to be exactly the same also this time i'm thinking about um, changing out the handguard quite sure what to use yet but uh, the plan is to, to change that up a little bit by the time this video is going to go online you might have seen my review of the 2021 ktm 1290 super adventure r the new version has a much lower seat height, quite noticeable. And also notice when I actually uh, got on this bike, how much taller this bike actually is. So I already uh, sent a seat customizer that's basically gonna help to sort of reduce the height of the seat. Uh, keep the comfort, but sort of reduce it, make it a bit more narrow up front. So that I'd be able hopefully to almost get all the way down to the ground with my feet because I can't do that at the moment. Fuck me. I wasn't planning to do this so early. Shit. Nee, ist alles gut. Nagelneue Maschine. Scheiße. <lacht> ich, ja, ja. Ich guck mal. Wobei, wenn du mir hinten ein bisschen hilfst, das wird das helfen. Es kann doch nicht wahr sein. Ich weiß nicht, ob der Reifen noch, noch glatt war. Das kann sein. Scheiße. Aber geht wirklich, ja? Ja, ja. Ich schieb's einfach rüber. Das ist gut. Dank dir. I guess I'll keep these. I mean, you have got to be kidding me. That's annoying. <laughs> shit. The shit I do with this bike, unbelievable. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That 
that caught me completely off guard. Um, yeah. So the heat shield's gone. It's not a big deal. I don't think anything's serious on it. It's just uh, get a pretty good idea of what happens when you crash it. Um, sort of the same spot I had on my, my other bike. It's that part of the, uh, the crash bars that get scratched. The rest is just the hand guards at the moment. That's all I can see. There's nothing on the on the tank panels. Nice, slow, low sider. Well, way to go for your maiden ride. Unbelievable. Crazy. Let's see what my jacket looks like. Um, uh, yeah, so the shock's wearing off. I can feel a little bit. My arm. I landed on the um, on my elbow, on the uh, the armor on the elbow. I'm glad it's in there. I actually uh, beefed that up a few years ago and then replaced it. Replaced the uh, standard armor that came with the jacket. You know, the design is a few years old using the flimsy sort of armor. I'm glad I, I changed it to much larger level 2 armor. It's good to have. That's also uh, what I landed on last time I crashed the bike. My S on the road. That was actually left hand side. So, so much for saving all the new parts. <laughs> Keep it from scratches before I take it off road. Wow. That's not a very good start. That's not how I was planning the day to go. <laughs> just laying the bike down with less than 10 kilometers on the clock. It is wow. Wow, wow, wow. As you can imagine, I was very surprised uh, when the bike just low sided under me and just sort of super slow turn. Obviously, the tires were still too slippery, you know, coming straight from the showroom. Also, these are the Pirelli Scorpion Trail 2 tires, and so unlike the Continental Road Attack tires that don't have that sort of smeary film of new tires on there anymore. These obviously still have it. And I didn't actually think it was such an uh, aggressive turn, but damn, I was in for a surprise. Definitely got me completely off guard. Yeah, I guess you have to take it really, really easy with a new set of tires with a brand new motorcycle. I'm really, really pissed at myself. <laughs> it's something so stupid actually can happen to me. But uh, I guess I was lucky uh, the damage was minimal to the bike. It's really just a bunch of scratches on the crash bars. But the hand guards got tiny scratches. Luckily, none of the tank panels or the rear swing of any other parts of any scratches. Of course, the exhaust pipe, especially the heat shield, got cracked and scratched. That's usually the first thing that touches the ground. That's the original exhaust pipe. I'm not too concerned about it. But of course, the whole plan was to be <laughs> to use all my old parts on the from the S model and put it on the R model before I would actually drop the bike the first time and of course the plan was never to drop it on the pavement in street traffic that was initially the plan to do it off-road and get it off-road ready so if I you know drop the bike in the dirt then I wouldn't actually mess up the brand new parts on the bike so it's a huge downer but I guess again I'm lucky that the bike could have slid under another car damaged something else now it's been a few minutes that this happened I can definitely feel my uh, my right arm my shoulder a little bit see when the shock wears off um, it hurts a little bit Anyway, the thing I was going to talk to you about is all the changes I was going to make on the bike. And a lot of the accessories that I bought for the S model will actually make its way to the R model. So, of course, I'm going to put the phone mount back on. The uh, satellite navigation mount is going to go back here again. Also, I will mount the SW Motec fog lights again. Um, I'm going to put those on as well. The one thing I'm not going to install this time is actually the chain oiler. I'm going to try something completely different and that's a maintenance free chain but I will do a dedicated video on that install that chain so I don't have to keep lubing the chain also of course the Krapovich exhaust is going to make it back on the bike old rider skid plate will make it to the bike and I initially had planned to use my old crash bars the black ones for this bike that was the plan now I'm not quite sure if I'm now going to keep the orange ones because I put the first scratches on them might as well keep them on the bike Say with the hand guards, the plan was not to keep those on, but to replace them with something else. Now that I have the first scratches in it, might as well keep them on until they break again. Actually, they held up. The crush bars actually held up quite nicely, considering 
what I put them through last year. Um, they're just plastic, they're not very sturdy, but yeah, I guess I'll, I'll keep it for a while. Also, the uh, levers for clutch and brake will be replaced by the uh, V-Track levers. The V-Track levers kind of flip up, also I can adjust the length, especially for the clutch hand. So if I'm pulling in the clutch all the way, I'm not actually squeezing my uh, middle finger from, or you know, a small, uh, whatever, ring finger. I ordered a graphics kit for the bike. I might give that a try, we'll see. Maybe I'll just keep the old color scheme, just the old uh, paint, which I like. Or I will put on the graphics set, see how easy or hard that actually is uh, to put the graphics set. And it's also a, sort of a dark gray, black graphics set that's being delivered right now from South Korea, <laughs> out of all places. I found this place on eBay. The windscreen, yes, I will change the windscreen. This is the original windscreen. It's actually, it's actually fine. I'm going to use the Puig uh, windshield again that I already bought for the S model. I kind of like the design a little better. You also have the tall windscreen, the GV that I've used for the first two years primarily. So if I go touring with this, I will actually um, have another windscreen, a taller one that I can use. I still have to get accustomed to the suspension system on all the settings and find the right settings for road riding, but also for off-road riding. So it's going to take a while of trial and error and play with it a little bit. I already noticed from just a few kilometers I was riding this bike that, of course, there's quite a bit of nose dive with this suspension system now it's probably still set to a very soft setting or relatively soft setting but that was one of the key things that the semi-active suspension on the S model would do is actually prevent the bike from diving too much um, especially when the suspension setups were relatively soft and you would apply the brakes uh, quite hard the front brakes it, it would actually prevent the bike from diving too much now that's not going to happen with this bike but it's uh, you know it's really not the end of the world I guess so yeah, lots of getting used to on, on this bike. Um, I still have, again, the road tires on the larger wheel set. I have a smaller wheel set with the 17, 19 inch wheels. The whole plan is, at the moment, they still have the knobby tires on from the S model, but the plan going forward is to have the larger wheel set for off-road riding and then use the smaller wheel set for on-road riding. The better form of riding a wider tires, also smaller diameter. So I will have two wheel sets again so I can swap back and forth. Guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have comments, especially on the crest situation, uh, leave them in the comment section. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support. Thank you guys for watching. I see you in the next video. Until then, ride safe, stay crash free and stay awesome.